All right, so what I'm tying today is a green caddis pattern. Um, it's a size 12 egg nymph hook with a 764 nickel bead. And I'm gonna be using a pretty cool material called UV Chewy Skin. Uh, here in Pennsylvania, we have a lot of variations of caddis, but a really cool one in this uh, green coloration, and that's the one that we've had a decent amount of success on. So I'm gonna load this hook up really quick here. Um, little olive color thread. And clip that tag off. And I'm gonna work this all the way back past the bend of the hook. Just to get a base. And bring this right back up to where we're gonna put the collar on for the thorax of this caddis. Um, if you take a look at this material, this is the UV chewy skin, and you wanna have a very thin strip of this material and kind of this tapered edge um, cut it out so that when we stretch this material down the hook, we get a nice body. So I'm gonna tie this in with that point right at the collar. This material stretches really well, but it can be a little bit difficult to work with, especially to get started here in the beginning. Once I get that tied in, I'm going to kind of stretch that material out just a little and take it all the way down to that point on the bend where I took my original thread wraps to. And I'll work this all the way back up to the top. Um, this little tag end here at the front, you can clip that out or you can kind of just leave that in there. We're going to cover it up with the collar at the end. I'll see if I can get that to pull down. All right, so I'm just going to leave that hang out. This UV Chewy skin. So the way to work this best is to rotate it. And as you're rotating it, you want the individual... Um, layers to kind of lay just up on top of the previous and it gives you a really nice segmented body as you work your way forward so we'll kind of get this going get this thread out of the way here for a second first turn or two are the hardest once you get those started everything else will kind of fall into place for you so So as you work this material, I'm gonna keep it pulled pretty tight in the beginning and I'll release how tight I'm pulling it as I work my way forward and that'll taper the body really nice, giving me some thinner sections down at the bend and working it up a little thicker makes it look a little bit more natural as I work up to the head end. I'm going to work this all the way up to the bead. And here I'm going to pull my thread back. And I'm going to catch my material there right behind the head. And just give it like two or three passes. Right where we're going to put the collar of the thorax in. And I'll make some wraps in the front as well. And bring it right back to one more behind. At this point, that material should be caught pretty well, so I'm gonna pull that fairly tight and give it a clip. And there I have my segmented body for my caddis larva. Now, the thorax, so a lot of our green caddises have this black coloration on the thorax. So what I've done is I've taken a little bit of black dubbing and a little bit of prism peacock dubbing and blended them together. So I kind of have this nice, almost opalescent looking black. Um, and I'm gonna get myself this thread dubbed up here quick. And just remember a little bit of dubbing goes a long way on this. So start out with a fairly thin rope of this dubbing.
We're gonna brush this out at the end, so it's gonna be on there fairly tight. We'll pull that excess off. We don't need quite that much for this. And I'm gonna get myself a wrap up front. And I'm gonna hit this with a whip finish. And can throw a little drop of Zappa Gap in there if you would like to hold all the materials in place. Pull it tight. And at this point we can clip our thread off. And I have just a little bit of Velcro here, so I'm going to kind of tease some of those fibers out just a little bit and kind of give it that nice buggy leg look front and if you see anything very long on there that doesn't look natural you can clip it off at that point but I'm fairly happy with the way that guy looks so take those fibers and kind of brush them down and at that point I'm going to cut off right near the point of the hook that's what I'm left with so I'll give it a nice little rotation you can take a look Again, really nice segmented body, that black thorax, really nice green caddis look. And you can tie this in a bunch of different variations, colors, and I'll show you some of those. Um, but this has been our go-to with most of our nymphs, and we're doing really well on them. So, a little bit about myself, um, since this is the first video. So, I am a biology and environmental science teacher. Um, I love the outdoors and I do a decent amount of fly fishing and tying. So the idea of this channel will be to pull together a little bit of the fly fishing techniques as well as a lot of the tying and to do a little bit of uh, stream ecology and aquatic ecology mixed in to discuss habitats and different types of structures and terminology. So if you're into that sort of thing and you enjoyed this video, um, please feel free to subscribe to Inside Drift, and we'll keep the videos coming. Thank you.